All right, so we've just been granted access with a camera. This is a live recording session, um, so I'm not going to be saying much, and it's going to be very dim. Uh, we're not going to have any lights in there right now because there are artists at work. We want them to focus. Welcome to my world, I constantly getting paid for my job is to school you niggas, your job is to be the hater, they perpetrating my image, these niggas just entertainers, I slide up on any scene, the group is like you the greatest, I'm like Tenfo, niggas don't understand what I'm in the game here for, I'm trying to be one of the greatest of the greats, what you here for, the money and the fame and the bling and the free coat, oh no, it's a dream chaser, no mojo, he's a dream chaser, no homo, I get it flowing, popping off rock, my brain is overflowing with medicinal thoughts, I can't control that fire, fire, yes sire, crime and K-I-N-T. The Clips team is finally in AMG Studios. We've linked up with the owner and founder, Antonio. Uh, very excited to be here today. Uh, there's a lot preventing us from getting here. Traffic was horrible. Uh, but now that we're here, Antonio, how you doing today? I'm all right. That's good. Um, now, in AMG, as you can see, it's a pretty developed studio. Uh, we sort of had to interrupt Antonio's session. He's still working on what he had just recorded with Sean Chex, who's right beside us. How you doing, Sean? Doing good, man. Doing good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How long has AMG been around? How long have you been a part of the Tampa hip hop scene? Since 2005. We've been around for a while now, and there's there's a dozens of artists, dozens of artists coming out of this uh, this studio that you see here. Speaking of how many artists that you're handling at one time, do you ever get overwhelmed? Is the business ever too much for you? Not really. I make my own schedule, so if I don't want to work, I just take a day off. You just don't want to work. You just don't come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm envious, man. I'm envious. <laughs> and, uh, but you still got a you still got a pretty heavy workload. Like the last project that you released uh, it, that came out of AMG was a, a collective called Summer Heat 16. Fantastic mixtape. How many artists did you have on that alone? Uh, it should have been close to 30 because I had 22 tracks and each one was a different artist, but some was featuring other artists. So it'd be about 30, 30 people on that CD. I studied the hell out of that mixtape. It's fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link to that uh, just right here. Um, and you can go ahead and uh, take a listen to it if you want. Um, now, apart from the workload that you're experiencing, what was your initial goal with this studio? When you finally sat down, you decided that you wanted to launch a studio. Uh, when I finally decided to take the chance to open up a studio to start the business, I had left my job, took my little 401k, cast it in, and bought some more equipment. The goal was to just make good music. I don't really overtax people. I don't charge $70, 80 an hour like some studios. So my goal was to just make good music. I like good music. I like people to come make good music you wanted this to be accessible to new artists. You didn't want to overcharge. You didn't want to make bank. It really feels like you got a family in this environment. Yes, that is true. We all get along. It's more of a family environment, like you say, than it is of a business. I don't just, oh, as soon as you come in here, let's get straight to work. Okay, your time is up and that's it. You're good. <laughs> now, on a collaborative, what kind of collective experience does it take to get to that production value? How many producers do you have in here working on the sounds? And well, I'm the only engineer here. You're the only engineer here? Yeah. You, you engineer every single sound here? Every single song. That, that is insane. I, I, I have other people that come, they ask me, do I, am I hiring or other engineers that want to work? But I, if you can't give my client the same sound I can give them, then I don't want you to be putting my brand AMG Records on that song. So you're the only one that works here. You you are self-employed and you have not employed anybody else. No, that's and you and you man. So how much collective experience do you have personally? How long have you been producing your own beats? I've been uh, recording since I want to say 2001. Back in high school, I was recording my friends and. Um, I just evolved from there. I actually listened to one of those songs I recorded about eight years ago. It sounds horrible compared to now. Well, yeah, it was all analog back then. Now you got this set up, man. You can do anything you want. Yeah, it sounds so way totally different now. What is the next step for AMG? Where do you want to take this business next? Actually, I'm pretty pretty much content here. You want to keep it tight knit. You want to keep it. You want to keep that family environment that we we're talking about. Yes. Keep keep the the Tampa Bay community involved yes that, that's basically the only thing i'm have plans on expanding getting a bigger room but i'm it's not going to be a bigger studio it's going to be an, an additional studio in it 
Do you have any projects right now that you're working on that we can expect to see soon? Um, I was working on the New Year's um, mixtape collective uh, artists from whom I record, take their songs and make a mixtape. I'm going to do two a year. I did the Summer Heat, and I'm going to do the New Year one. Awesome. Is that is that an announcement? Is that a Clips announcement? It is a Clips announcement because I haven't told anybody I was going to do that yet. <laughs> you heard it here first then. So obviously you're killing it. You, you have homegrown this empire that is AMG. You've got clients. You've got the, the community, the hip hop community in your pocket right now. Normally, I would ask if Tampa Bay is a hindrance. I don't feel like it's hindering you at all. But have you ever felt, either now or in the past, that because you're in Tampa Bay, as opposed to another area like uh, Miami, uh, LA, New York, that you've been held back at all? No, actually, I've, I'm from Miami. And I'm quite sure I make way more money here. Because in Miami, small studios, now they have big studios like Circle House, where a lot of the major artists go but all the like mom and pop, so to speak, studios, which would include me, they charging $25, $20 an hour, so I'm mostly recording out of house. Went to one uh, Thanksgiving weekend, and literally three blocks away, it was another studio. To be honest, I pretty only know, pretty much only know about roughly eight studios in Tampa that actually deal with hip hop and urban music. And out of those eight, we all split in the share of the artists. So. It's less, it's better here than it would be in Miami when you're going against 200 studios, so to speak. So you don't have much competition to worry about as opposed to a bigger city. So it works out for you. Exactly. Well, you heard it here. Tampa Bay is a place to be in recording hip hop. Uh, anybody that is looking to get into a studio, AMG, right here. We're in uh, Tampa, Florida. And I mean, did you have any advice for young rappers right now looking to get into a studio, struggling to take the next step? Do you have any advice, advice on how to do that? Um, the only advice I have is to keep practicing and to make sure that you put your, you get your marketing skills up. It's more about marketing than it is about the artistry, you know, because the way the industry has turned now, it used to be about like, if you listen to like the Beaks back in the day, they had a lot of instruments. Um, a lot of people was involved on one project. Now anybody can record. You can record on your laptop. I can record on my iPhone, to be honest with you. And... It's just now you have to take it serious. You can't be just come here, just record some stuff and have it sound like trash because nobody's going to take you serious if you're not taking yourself serious. So I feel if, if you become a great marketer, you got a good chance. It's not even it's not really about how good your music is nowadays. Take yourself seriously. And if you're going to get into it, get into it. But come to AMG if you're going to take that step. But Antonio, thanks for, so much for having us. Uh, it, was really, it was really an honor getting to come into the studio, record everything, and speak to a huge part of the hip-hop community in Tampa Bay. Thanks a lot, man. Okay, no problem. All right, and that's a cut. Awesome. Awesome. We, we have like five minutes left. Yeah. That's what I'm working on. Yeah. You can play this song a million times on iTunes. You can play it every day a million times. You're going to start getting paid off that. You're going to get to this. Even, if, like even if I'm listening to it. Even if you, you play it a million times on your iPhone. A million times off iTunes. So it's just getting it on iTunes. Yeah, you got to get your IRC code. You got to get track copyrighted first. So it's a process. It's, so it's, I mean, it's, well, you put the track from mine now. You put it on there right now. But yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go crazy. I wouldn't. I wouldn't send it to no radio station until you get your until you put it on media base, mm -hmm. and then you gotta copyright your songs. You know, I take from obviously. And that's it. From that point on, you in the game. Yeah. AMG, the most higher is here. Look up in the sky while I float into your ear. That picture me switching lanes while flying in the lift. You can do that, nigga. Please bring me back a souvenir. Switching lanes, only niggas cut a game. Don't stop. Shine through the city, no.